Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. The Eye of the Tiger is calling as we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man with only rookies. Yep, rookies only it is. Hacking a workstation in Operation Mountain Steed looks like a more than moderately difficult task but we get Tiffany Barnes for it, an engineer, and we can definitely use some engineer power now. As uh, mentioned beforehand, we're putting Sonar Insane, Hayward and Shinrod in here because we're trying to build those sweet, sweet bonds between them. Uh, they are incredibly uh, high in their mutual affinity. So I'm trying to uh, build up some bonds and just get that extra little edge that we could use. Hopefully no one is going to die in the meantime. Because these missions now are difficult. We're right prior to the uh, breakthrough of our up armor upgrades, which will be helpful. But boy, boy, the mission will be difficult. All right, so we have just landed uh, and it is a great homage uh, to the old days where the graveyard in XCOM 1 was a real thing. We got ourselves stealth insertion. Any mission timer will not start until we break concealment, but that certainly does not mean uh, that we're allowed to, to just stealth the entire mission. That is not working. For those of you who are familiar with how the XCOM mechanic works, I'm not going to tell you anything new, but essentially XCOM, uh, the XCOM engine will always put a pack between you and the target, meaning if we're starting out with the motivation to get to that um, hex zone, there will be always one uh, an enemy pack between us even if they are now moving away you can rest assured someone else will be moving in the moment that you're moving too close uh, to uh, to the target the uh, game will will make sure that you can't just stealth by uh, stealth uh, your way through the entire mission Got it. Moving. our reason why uh, stealth uh, was uh, created in the first place was to make the first engagement easier for the player and to remove an old strategy that had been uh, that had been used uh, at the beginning of XCOM 2 where essentially you could just stand in the open right outside of the vision range of the enemy and do mass overwatch and that was Without so to speak the standard uh, the standard strategy uh, in order to counter that, two things happened in the game design. Number one, the developers uh, started using timers so that you can't just do the Overwatch crawl strategy. And secondly, they were creating an anti-roguelike uh, mechanism. I wouldn't even say it's an anti-roguelike mechanism because it never was an, the game was never intended as a roguelike game. Uh, they just figured uh, we want to make it easy for the players and want to prevent uh, the effects that happened in the old XCOM games, specifically in Terror from the Deep, where you had one pack uh, that might be like completely on the other side of the map and you were searching for it for hours at end. And I'm not exaggerating, you actually searched for an hour because some poor alien was stuck in the last corner of a randomly generated world. And so two things happened. Number one, they wanted to basically create kind of that fast engagement, which I think makes an awful lot of sense if you want a squad based fighting game and not a roguelike game. And secondly, they wanted to make sure that you're not, not just overwatching through the entire game. And I see where they are coming from. It's fair enough. Uh, it just is potentially annoying for people who like roguelike games and wanted to sneak their way through XCOM 2. Seeing that often in the forums, kind of a question, why isn't it possible, or people are being disappointed. And I get it, um, it can be disappointing at first. But with the necessary additional information, at least you can appreciate what the design concept had been. Okay, see, now we're being cornered here. You might still disagree with what the developers have done, but you at least know what 
the concept was ab about. Done. Eyes peeled. Eyes on the prize. Covering now. Yeah, we don't want to trigger both of the packs at the same time. We're, we have maneuvered ourselves a bit in a corner here. Let's hope that they are not uh, getting upstairs. As he was saying that, uh, they are getting upstairs. Well, that causes a 4 versus 6 situation. Certainly doesn't help that we're that we're missing, but luckily we are being missed as well. Come on, kill at least one of them, please. All right, everybody focus the Viper because that's so everybody knows the best target to focus. Always the Viper. So the one thing that we can do is we can play with line of sight here. It's actually going to be our friend in this particular case. I can see a challenge here with that entrance. Stun Lancer can charge through. But he can only charge through if we're if we're not using a flashbang grenade. Which, on the other hand, if we are targeting this, would at least prevent the Sun Lancer from coming in. Okay, cool. Good. Well, let's start. We can use all the help we can get. I would like to go over here. And let's kill the Sun Lancer. Almost, almost is not quite a kill. Almost is not quite a kill. Good. Same moves down here. Can always move up. not too bad because it prevents enemies from coming upstairs which means we're sort of on an island here I, I... not the worst if you think about it full cover is also good this here prevents the stun lancer and a poison spit both of which are very helpful. Fifty fifty. I don't want half cover. Moving out. Still fifty fifty. Can't throw that far, but we can try to hit him. All right, cleaning the field. That's not bad. Two down. Oh, the chosen on top of it, really? Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Gets Overwatch. Does not trigger Overwatch. We gotta get close in order to attack it, and hates Reapers, which does not offer us any advantage. So we're fighting again. We have four activated enemies and the chosen. The chosen That's a lot to deal to with. Stasis? Yeah, I figured. We need to get to their location to take them out. Uh, we got to be careful. Mind control would likely hurt us. OK, 
Okay, so far so good. That's not a problem. He is... I'm all right. He's disoriented. Can't just move up and shoot him because that would um, run us into trouble. Fifty percent, fifty percent. Okay, well, not good. We we'll move up here and simply try to kill him. Yeah, we well, don't don't want to stand in the open. It's a more difficult turn than you would expect. We're moving to here. Hey, we're got a 50 50, not good enough. But the next big target essentially would be the stun lancer. Take some damage can move to here which isn't bad and finish uh, the stun lancer very good so that has at least taken care of the stun lancer we're going to be exposed over here half cover get into full cover here and then overwatch that's an option not the worst not the best either but it's actually a serviceable option got a another enemy over there which i think if we were to go to here we'd be able to hit out of curiosity if we're standing down here we would still have line of sight and we could hit okay so i'm going to go into full cover here try to kill the viper mr viper will not be disoriented next turn it's a 50 50 but gotta try our best there we go i was afraid about the poison spit Still dangerous, we can be mind controlled. Oh, Holy Warrior is not too bad. That's a two for one if we play it right. And as far as I'm concerned, we're not clustered up, so it's not going to be a grenade. That, on the other hand, is a problem. Tracking shot is a big, big problem. percent chance to hit him let's try that solid damage okay moving over let's move away with sane because we do not want to explode respectively take explosion uh, explosion damage Only them. really ammo fast. wow
Luckily, we moved away. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? The priests always were a little uptight for my taste. Good. We're moving in here. Hmm. Yeah, let's stay in full cover. My biggest problem at the moment is we still have the Chosen against us and I think we've used quite a few of our grenades. He hits well and with four hit points there is really not much we can do in order to counter his attacks. Got one grenade left over and that's about it. But maybe I can... Maybe just maybe I can... Get the timer Copy that. Um, paused by finishing the objective. Laser sight is not great. Sort of hoping for a bit more. Got it. Moving to full cover. Okay. Um, I need to reload. Can't just sprint on. It's one of these classical cases where if you're moving too fast, you're going to lose the follow up engagements. Reload, reload, and done. It's likely going to spot us out very fast. Yep, now we're spotted out. First round is sort of for free, because he's not shooting at us, but every single round from now on will be a pain. Well, it is a problem. Certainly doesn't help that he makes his snarky little comments. What a bitch. Right. Toss me some ammo. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. I, I, Problem that I'm seeing is I don't know how we're going to defeat him now. Our grenade, which was the one thing that kept us in this fight, is gone. Enemy protocol is fantastic. Uh, it's a one percent chance. Might as well give it a try. Nope, not happening. Acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. On the move. Look, we're not going to hit him with Overwatch, right? Scanning. He will not summon again. So this is actually going to be a bit of a, a bit of a losing fight for us. I might just boogie out. Just hold. Because we're going to bleed out. Show me what you got. Requesting immediate evac. Moving out. Yep, there we go. Let's carry. And okay. sometimes a partial victory is a victory, guys. Sometimes not losing a soldier is effectively a victory. Carrying the units and see you later, alligator. We survived with everyone. That's good. We did not defeat him, uh, but I think we countered the dark event. We did not get the engineer though. Uh, 
Too bad, but it is what it is. There's really only so much you can do. He he came into our field of vision. He's immune to overwatch shots, so if I would have uh, laid an overwatch trap, that really doesn't matter. He basically sprung in with a summoning into grappling hook into insta kill on, on one or insta down on one uh, soldier. And with four hit points, every single shot that he hits is effectively going to kill or down the character so yeah there wasn't much we can uh, we can do so sometimes you just have to accept it we got a repeater and a laser side that's two pieces of loot we countered uh sled rounds that's good we just didn't get the we just did not get um, our engineer and okay that sucks it would have been better with four engineers but we're going to survive we did not lose the area, so that's another plus. You always gotta think about really what the consequences are. And this time, yes, the consequences weren't super hot. We lost a bit of permanent income. Fair enough. Just what are you and the Reapers up to, Commander? But again, it's not the end of the world. And very soon we got plated armor. Need more intel, we want to expand. That's the next priority. Because currently, with rookies and without any equipment, the best I can do is maybe Ferric victories and then some of the missions just maybe get squeeze out a victory here and there. Uh, we got plus four will, that's not bad. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics. Oh good. So far, we got the Templars. And yeah, the mission uh, the faction hero will not help us at all. Like I said, this run here uh is rookies only, soldiers ga XP gain is increased by ten percent. Yeah, exactly what we would need at the moment. Good, so let's see. Form Soldier's Bond is definitely something I would consider. Counter chosen activity. Mm, can't do that. Recruit Engineer and 10 Dodge. Hell yeah, we're going to do that. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So I think Roby was uh, the one uh, who started stacking Dodge. That's good. Um, Roby and Divot uh, are going on those missions. Uh, we uh, it's okay if uh, either of them gets wounded in 11 days i hope to see results we will begin the covert action immediately commander good we got a couple of yeah uh, soldiers that are not really uh, going to do anything hogbite i wish i could use you this time but it's not happening and here we go with Theoretically a soldier bond, actually. Do we want to do that uh, together with uh, mm, a random rookie? Priyamvada Sari. Doesn't look very Indian to me, but maybe the future Indians prefer uh, shaved skulls and Ayuki's haircuts. But okay, good, cool. Um... Well, I mean, the one thing, there's a logic where we, you could say beggars can't be choosers, right? So any bond is better than no bond. On the other hand, I would rather want to bond Divert with Roby. But for now, it doesn't matter anyways, because we're not taking any, uh, any of the, uh, them into a mission. Oh, it's just getting better. Uh, it's a good chance that we're going to lose New Mexico because a Haven assault means if we're if we're mess messing this up, we're going to lose um, that entire area. So we better get our together. Do we have anything that could help us? Schooljack, yeah. We're actually a threat to the aliens, and they know it. 
Engineering. Build items. We got a flashbang already. Medkit really doesn't help us that much. Nano scale vest is not good. We need upgrades. That's what we need. What can I do for you, Commander? Five more days for power relay, and with power relay we can finally upgrade the additional research station and then weapon upgrades afterwards. Plated armor is already helpful, but we gotta get faster and more decisive. Yeah, we're already doing what we're supposed to do, but uh, not surprisingly, at this point in the game, the game expects you to have a bit more leveled soldiers than just rookies. It is what it is, though. Uh, we are still going to go on, and the good part is we have a deep roster of equally skilled uh, rookies. So let's see if we can get uh, some more bonds going. And uh, that will happen in the next mission. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the content. If that is true, leave a comment down below and uh, tell me what you think about our current situation. Are we doomed? Is this going to work out? Yes, no, maybe. I'd like to hear what you have to say. See you soon and bye bye.